Hey, what's up? So in this problem, we have a differential equation and we're going to solve it. Um, it looks like we can separate it. What that means is we can get all of the x's with the dx on one side and all of the y's with the dy on the other side. Differential equations where you can do that are called separable differential equations. So in this case, we already have the dy over here. So we'll start by dividing by this piece and putting it over here and then multiplying by the dx. So we'll divide by this, so we get dy over the square root of 1 minus y squared. And now we're going to multiply by the dx, okay? So it'll be x dx, x dx, x dx. And so now we've accomplished our goal. We have only y's and dy on one side, and only x's and dx's on the other side. When you have this, then you can integrate both sides, and then you can finish the problem. This is an integral that might be familiar. If it's not, no worries. Recall, if you have the integral of dx over a squared minus x squared, right? if you have this integral, this is going to be arc sine of x over a plus a constant. So this is arc sine of x over a plus a constant, so plus c. So that is a formula from, from the past. So in this case, this is really 1 squared. So a is just 1. So this will just be arc sine of x over a plus a constant. When we integrate this, we also add a constant. You don't have to add it twice because you can subtract and then rename your constant. So just add the constant once. This will be arc sine of y. And for this one, we'll use the power rule, right? The power rule says you can add 1 and divide by that number. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So you get x to the 2 divided by 2. Then we add our constant. So this would be what's called an implicit solution to our differential equation. What that means is that we have a solution, but y is not explicitly given uh, as a function of x. So this is called an implicit solution. To find the explicit one, we can solve for y. Let's go ahead and do it. So first recall that if you have a function f and it takes a and sends it to b, the inverse function undoes that. It takes b and sends it to a. It's not an algebraic operation. It's just like, a, I think of it as an intuitive one. So if f takes a and sends it to b, the inverse function takes b and sends it back to a. So here arc sine takes y and sends it to this. So the inverse of arc sine is sine. So sine takes x squared over 2 plus c and sends it back to y. And so that would be the explicit solution. So again, the arc sine takes y and sends it to this. So the inverse of the arc sine, which is sine, takes this and sends it back to y. So that would be the answer. And you could put the y on the left if you want to make it look better. So that's it.